hi guys welcome and welcome back to my channel it's me will and today i'm going to be talking about how you can pass your learner's license on the first attempt and what i did to, so that i could do this as well um i've written my learners twice once in 2019 and once again this year and i passed it both times first go around so i'm here to share some tips with you so first thing you're going to need to do is obviously you need to get like the manual you can either a get this from auto trader for free i'll leave a link down below i'll try and see if i can't leave the actual document in a pdf down below as well or b you can actually buy the manual i got mine from take a lot it was 60 rand and i decided to pick it up at a take a lot location so that was 25 rand so overall it ended up costing me 85 rand for the book but i think that's pretty reasonable try and see if you can't find it at a bookstore or something then you would have to pay for the shipping etc etc but like i said you can get it from auto trader they have a free learner's manual and obviously i have both and i can confirm that all the information that is in the manual like the actual physical one is in the auto trader one except the auto trader doesn't have practice questions and practice tests and it also doesn't have information about the actual driving test and the yard test so cool but today we're only talking about the learners so the auto trader one will suffice so the most important thing honestly the thing that won't come in clutch for you is to get the k53 app i will insert what the app looks like over here it needs to be this app i have not tried other apps out so i cannot speak for them but i know that this blue one it works so the nice thing about this is that it has a frequently asked questions um segment so when you open it it will I'll try and leave like screen grabs over here so when you open it it will show you their learner's test or driver's test you press learner's test and then it will have a faq um section and over there it will have a direct link to where you can book your test which is on the natis um website and it will also sh tell you what you need to bring when you are done booking so you will book online you will get a booking confirmation pdf they will have picked your time, your date, and the location, which means the station that you want to write it at. And you have to pay the booking fee within three days. So you get the PDF, make sure you download and save that PDF, and make sure that you go to the station within the, the three days, otherwise your booking will expire. When you go to the station, you're going to have to have the booking confirmation PDF. You're gonna have to have two black and white ID photos. You're gonna have to have your booking fee, obviously. It will be stated on the PDF, what the amount is because i think this varies from province to province and city to city etc i live in the eastern cape in east london and it was 213 rand and the actual learners was 69 rand make sure you bring cash and card because even though the website says cash only when i went to do my booking they only accepted cards so south africa is tricky you know they say one thing but it's another thing either go to your station ahead of time or bring both so you will have the booking fee the booking confirmation two black and white id photos or more i just brought four because just to be safe and then you'll also have to have your postal address like a um, proof of residence i mean so once you get there with all of these things they will give you a blue form to fill out after you fill this form out you will then go and do your eye test and after you do your eye test you will then go and pay for your booking so now that you've done the booking, you'll receive a piece of paper and it will state that on this date at this time, you're going to come and write your learners. So now you've done all of this, now it's time to study. Um, it only took me, um, I'm not even going to say one day. I actually studied for the test like literally like hours before, but I was more confident in myself because I'd written it before. And even when I wrote it the first time, I only studied the day before. So what I would recommend is i read this book like three times like beginning to end over and over and over and i sat down and i just took my time and i read and i read and i read after i read the book i went to the blue app and they have practice tests and then i wrote the practice test and then i passed it and i was like oh so i think i do know so i went and i did a second test and i passed that test the key is but after you are done learning to keep on taking the test it's no point if you just keep on studying and keep on studying but then you don't test yourself the best thing that you can do is process the information 
I wouldn't recommend studying for more than a week. I think one week is sufficient to study for this test. I think most people just freak themselves out. The questions are very obvious. They just are written in a way that are designed to make you overthink it. But if you actually know what you're talking about, it's going to be very simple. Like I remember it was like, what was the, the legal amount of blood alcohol? I think it's 0.05 per 1,000, I mean per 100 milliliters or something like that. Obviously, I wrote this like last week, but the point is the options will be like 0, 0,5, 0, um, 0, 0,05, which is going to be the right one, or it's going to be like 5. If you actually studied and you know that it's 0, 0,5, it's going to be very obvious. Don't doubt yourself. Be sure. So study and then take the practice tests on the app. If you have this app, you will succeed. I promise you. Don't overthink it. Don't stress yourself out. Just read and process the information. You will actually find that most of these things are like common sense. Don't try and think about it in like a way like it's like elaborate. Just take the information for what it is. It's, it, I, can't, I can't stress this enough because when I was writing my test, there was 12 of us and only two of us passed. And I was shook because I couldn't understand. Number one, I was the first person to finish, so that made me nervous. And number two, I can't believe only two of us passed. Because like I said, I studied for it in the morning. And number two, I studied for code two. But it turns out they made an error because I did an eye test for code two. But somehow my test was for a heavy motor vehicle. But I still managed to pass because like I said, you just have to think logically. I think like one of the questions was like, does a heavy motor vehicle need parking brakes? Option A. Um, option B, service brakes only. Then option C was like, parking service and emergency brakes now i may not have studied anything about a heavy motor vehicle but logically in my mind i believe that it should have parking service and emergency brakes because any car needs to park and it also needs to go through service and it needs to have emergency things because it's heavy most it's carrying big things do you know what i mean it's questions like that that was an actual question that i got or they'll be like when um, do the headlights need to be used with sunrise through sunset, which is correct. Um, any time of the day or when visibility is poor. The answer is when visibility is poor. Because obviously visibility is poor during sunrise and sunset, yes. But it's also poor when there's fog. It's also poor when there's um, rain. These are all situations that you would need to use your headlamps. I mean your headlights. So those are actual questions from the actual test. So it's stuff like that. It's very simple. It's very basic. So if you do actually study, and like I said, if you download the app and you do those practice questions, I promise you the test will be a breeze because the question that they ask you in the app is very similar to the questions that are going to be in the actual test. So go through the test in the app and then when you get there, be nervous. Don't try and cram in the last 30 minutes when you're waiting there. Take time to yourself. Breathe. When you are prepared, you don't need to stress out. Even though I wasn't prepared, I knew I was going to do it because I believe in myself and I believe in God. Believe in yourself. You've studied. You've taken the test in the app. Once you get to a point where you're passing all the tests in the app, then you will know that, yeah, I can take it. So that's basically it. I don't know what else to tell you. That's, that's all there is to it. If you enjoyed this video, if it was helpful and useful to you, then of course, please like, comment and subscribe, all that good stuff. And yeah, peace and love. Good luck, guys.